cloud formation will be demonstrated with an experiment using supplies commonly found around the house. We start with a clean, dry jar that's large enough to fit your hand inside. Next, we add the first ingredient needed for cloud formation, moisture. In this experiment, we just use tap water. Pour enough water into the jar to coat the sides and leave about a half an inch at the bottom. This ensures enough moisture for cloud formation. Next, we add cloud condensation nuclei, or tiny particles that water vapor will condense onto. For the experiment, smoke from matches is ideal. Go ahead and put on the rubber glove. You'll need it for the next step. Light the matches and let them burn a little to become smoky, then drop them into the jar. Immediately put your gloved hand into the jar and cover the rim, ensuring no air will escape. Sometimes an extra set of hands is helpful here. Then pull upward with your hand to form a cloud. Pulling your hand up increases the volume of air in the jar, which acts to decrease the pressure and reduce the temperature to the saturation point. This causes the water vapor inside the jar to condense onto the smoke particles to form a cloud. Now let's look at what happens when you leave out an ingredient. Let's try the experiment again, this time keeping the jar clean and dry. Insert your gloved hand into the jar as before. Then, light your matches and be sure to blow them out before dropping them into the jar. This time when we pull our hand up, we'll just see smoke swirling inside the jar, not a cloud. We also don't get a cloud when we leave out the cloud condensation nuclei, or in this case, smoke. Pour water into the jar as before, then turn the jar to coat the sides with water. Skip the match and go straight to inserting your gloved hand into the jar. This time when you pull your hand up, you won't see a cloud. This is because we need all three ingredients, the moisture, the cloud condensation nuclei, and the drop in temperature to the saturation point to form a cloud. <laughs>